we're running really, really fast. We're not even tired. It's the kind of running that you can only do when you're really pissed. Ollie's arse cheeks are fading into the distance. So he took all of his clothes off before we left the pub. Oh, was it? He... No, that's right. He just legs it. And we're after him. The landlord's shouting at us. And we come around this corner and, uh, and there he is. Um, like he's still running, but uh, he's being chased by the police. Turned out he'd taken a, a piss up the war memorial. It must have been police dealing with something nearby or maybe the landlord called him or I don't know. And we're all like, oh shit, what do we do? There are people everywhere, loads of families. Why do you have to do this on a Sunday afternoon? <clears throat> he, uh, he trips and he crashes into this kid. There's a second and he's, um, and he's staring at this kid like... Uh, like really staring and uh, it's weird. And he just, uh, he just pushes the little boy over, just shoves him to the ground like he's suddenly pissed off or something. The kid's crying. <laughs> I feel bad. But Ollie's sitting on the curb in one of those foil blanket things speaking to the police. Everyone's staring and Ollie's all like, what are you all fucking looking at? Fuck off home at them. It's pretty bad. It's kind of funny though. They let him off with like a, a penalty notice or something and uh, and they leave. Oh, he chucks the foil blanket and, and he's off, running again. I can't help but smile. Uh, we're playing a drinking game. Uh, everyone's drinking just like anything. And all he's disappeared again. So I, I look everywhere, even outside, and I find him and he's um he's bombing all over the stairs and walls. He's so embarrassed, you his, his face is all red, he's not making eye contact. He's all like Piss off, I don't need your help. He's being a dick. I know I shouldn't help him, but I do, it. I always will, it's all like it must be about 3am. I've cleaned up. Everything upstairs stinks. I stink. Oh. Ollie's splayed out in the hallway and he's um, crying. <laughs> uh, must be feeling sorry for himself for all the shit he's been causing recently and all the people he's pissed off. You know, why am I always so nice to him? He keeps going though. Like he doesn't stop. He's just... He's, he's properly crying. Shit, I uh, take him into the bathroom. He's gonna be sick again. I shut the door because I know he's gonna be loud. It's so weird, I've never seen him cry before. And I, I don't really know how to be. <laughs> it is funny. Um, well, should I be should I be comforting him or what? Uh, and then it all just, it comes out that, um, Uh, his little brother's been ill for months. Um, and they can't make him better. His parents are dealing with it like really shit. Like his um, his mum's a mess. And uh, and his dad's trying but he's got to go to work and, and visit the hospital because his mum can't face it. And um, oh fuck. <laughs> it's horrible. So I, I hug him. I mean, it's gross because he's, he's got a uh, snot and sickle down his t-shirt, but to be fair, I smell bad too. So uh, uh, I just I hold him really tight. Uh, I don't think about it. I feel really bad for laughing. And he just keeps on crying. Like, like proper big sobs on my shoulder. Maybe he, he thought that getting wrecked would like numb it or something. I mean, I, I get it, but why now? Why didn't he say sooner? Am I a bad friend? Like, um, like not trustworthy? What if the others already knew and, and haven't told me? Or, you know, maybe I'm being a dick and I'm making it about me. 
so I'm, I'm trying to make it better uh, to, to calm him down. Um, but he's spitting and he's shouting and uh, he's getting so worked up that he, that he starts punching the door. Like, fuck. He's, he's scaring me. He's so angry. So I, I, I grab him and I, and, I, and I get him away from the door. There's no struggle. He just, um, he's, he just drops to the floor in a ball of tears. We're sitting against the bath, shoulder to shoulder, just staring at the wall. And uh, and all he starts whispering about the little boy in town, the one he ran into. Uh, reminded him of his little brother, he said. And he was angry. Jealous of the life he saw of him, he said. So I hold him again. He's shaking. But at least he's calm now. And there's silence. And we just sit. 